so let's talk about Battlefield 1. How is it? Is it good? Is it a god game? Is it a 10 out of 10? Well, let's find out. So the brand new iteration of Battlefield is here. Battlefield 1. It was released this Friday. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. But yeah, it's here. It did come with an early enlister. Um, early play days. Uh, what would you call it? Day 0. 0, zero, zero You know, I, I got to play this game 2 to 3 days earlier than its release. But I think the early enlister gave you a... I'm not sure maybe a whole week to play it early or maybe five days somewhere around there but then the whole EA access thing yeah but let's not talk about that I want to talk about this game this map specifically looks phenomenal and it's on a console which is crazy guys the raindrops on the gun it like in the beginning of the video you saw me just like standing there while everybody else was rushing out I was just enjoying this map I had played it before on conquest but it was just I was just so energetic so excited to play the game so I wasn't really paying attention to the visuals so once I played this game on TDM you know I was more calm you know I was a little more tired so I wasn't so how would you say more excited or not excited or hyper you know, I, whatever the word is, I kind of was just chilling, playing some Battlefield 1, and I was just, wow, this looks pretty good on the console, you know? Now, I can imagine on PC, it probably looks 10 times way better, but that's ne neither here or there. So, everybody's looking to Battlefield 1 to be the GO game of this year. You know, obviously, we, well, I wouldn't say we because I, I I don't want Infinite Warfare. That thing is crap. You know, I did actually get to play it for like two hours and then I got bored. Uh, there is a way of doing it. Just look it up on YouTube without pre-ordering it. I don't want to go into detail on that. So, yeah. So, Battlefield 1. Is it a 10 out of 10? No. No, it's not a 10 out of 10. But it's a very, very great game. You know, I've played the... Mo the not the multiplayer. I played the single player for a little bit. Because I was just so excited. I wanted to get into the multiplayer. And the little snippets of the single player that I did play are very... They, they get you right in the field. There's like this certain moment like it, it was in the trailers where it shows both sides are fighting for their country but they don't really want to kill each other there's this moment where you're this British soldier that raises his gun to a German soldier and he's doing the same thing nobody shoots because they're just like they're, they're just so dead inside they're like what is going on and that got you in the fields like like Battlefield's campaigns are Obviously not the go-to thing. Usually that's Call of Duty's thing, but this they have stepped up their game. The single player is kind of uh, snippets, or I would say clips of different events in the war, because they war f the the war was fought on different fronts. You know, you go from this uh, village setting to some desert to this or that. You know, there's always different. They're just like I would say they're different stories to a grand book of the world of the, of the war of the world I guess you would call it but that isn't why I bought Battlefield 1 for I bought it for the multiplayer and what honestly I don't know what they're doing obviously some things aren't like how would you say historically correct some of these weapons shouldn't have you know certain sides or or just etc but that's not the point the point is they did make a world war one game around trying to be as realistic as they can but at the same time they try to make the game fun and they do succeed in that in my opinion the game might be a little bit of a learning curve for those who have never played Battlefield 4 or not, just Battlefield in general. If you don't know about squads, if you don't know about the assault, the medics, the support, the scout class, you know, they all are different weapons, but they all have different specific jobs, you know? You know, obviously the scouts there to be more of a support and uh, viewing people, 
or uh, finding people and like showing them on the map, highlighting them, medic, medic self-explanatory, support, you know, everything else is self-explanatory, you know what I mean? But for everybody that has played Battlefield, I think the majority of people are enjoying this game very much. You know, there are nit nitpicks here and there, you know, maybe it's the laggy menu, My maybe because, uh, Whenever you try to record on the Xbox, you know, when you say Xbox record that, it kind of like drops the frame rate to zero. I'm not too sure if that's happening on the PlayStation as well, but it is happening on the Xbox. I tried it once just because I didn't have my Elgato running and well, um, yeah, never again, never again. You know, there's times where you'll try to do something and it, it's just a really slow reaction. I'm not too sure why, but on the build it was still saying day zero on the friday you know the day the day of the release i'm not too sure maybe they're holding off on the patch because they want to cram more stuff into it which would be totally fine with me like if they fix the menu they fix these are just like minor things it's nothing majorly game breaking like when battlefield 4 or 3 were released like the whole glitchiness the whole laggy i have not experienced I wouldn't say I haven't experienced that. Nothing to the point where I could point it out to where it was so, so abysmal that I was just hating the game. You know, I just, I just feel that Battlefield really needs to work on their, their like random squad building. You know, random team building or however you want to call it, because I've been in matches where I'm like the only guy that knows what he's doing and nobody else is playing their roles you know nobody's playing the medic even though they're the medic class you know there's just things like that that they need to re reintroduce reintroduce to people you know what i mean i'm not saying these people are being idiots i'm just saying they're not they're not learned doctors <laughs> but uh overall the game is fun the uh, the campaign is there. It's enjoyable when you know you have a little bit of downtime. The multiplayer is uh, oddly high action, intense, especially the vehicles. I really love the biplanes, and it's just it's a good experience. So if you've never played a Battlefield before and you're thinking of it because you're tired of Call of Duty, well, this is a perfect time for you to play. Pick up a pick up a copy of Battlefield One for. Xbox One, PS4, PC, what, whatever platform you use to play your video games, you're going to enjoy it. You know, get a couple friends, you know, because playing by yourself is fun, but it's way, way more fun, efficient, and just an overall better experience with playing with people, making squads, and all this good shit. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't really go into grave detail and things, but it's just, you know, a couple, couple thoughts here and there of what I think about the game. You know, I don't. I, I'm obviously not no. Um, what would you call it? Fanboy Battlefield One. I just enjoy a very good game, and that's what it is. If you disagree with me, well, let me know why you disagree with me. You you played it. You played the beta. You played this or that. For whatever reason, tell me why you don't like it. You know, for those of you who do like it, well, right on. You know. And well, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, some of this information is helpful in your decision and buy the game. And if you already did, well. I guess you already bought the game. <laughs> but anyways, I'll catch you in the next video. And like always, remember, stay awesome. What we do here is go back, 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 back.